got a little tip for you again today. Uh, today's tip is about stretching a brand new bull rope. Uh, personally, I like to stretch my bull ropes before I get on a bull with them, uh, just so I have the satisfaction of knowing that when I pull it up as tight as I like it at the bull riding, that it's not going to stretch while I'm riding. And it's uh, personal preference, like I said, some people don't mind riding with a, with a brand new rope without stretching it. All they do is pull it a little bit tighter and um, that allows for the stretch and they just go with it. But because of a hand injury and um, just the satisfaction of knowing, I like to get mine stretched first. Now stretching the bull rope is a pretty simple process. Uh, there is several different ways of being able to do it, but this is the way that I do it and I'm not saying one way is right or wrong, but this is the way that I prefer to do it. What you're going to need is three things. Well actually four, you're going to need the new bull rope. You're going to need a sturdy post like we've got right here and a trusty pickup truck. What we're going to do is just connect the rope to the post and to the truck. You're also going to need a 2x4. You can also use a 4x4. Um, the 2x4 can be any length. It doesn't really matter. You can always use a 4 uh, inch piece of pipe as well. Um, any of them will work and that's just to stick inside the handle. So we're going to start by putting the rope around here. I like to do mine without a knot in it um, for obvious reasons that the rope's just going to stretch anyway so you don't want the knot in it. So first thing we'll do is just wrap it around the post. Um, pretty basic. Just wrap it around here. The one thing I will say is that I like to make sure that there is no twist in the rope when I'm doing this. Um, and if you keep it towards the bottom of the post, it's obviously stronger down the bottom than it is at the top, so you won't pull the post out of the ground. The other end, like I said, try and keep it straight. Um, the other end we're going to wrap around the front of the truck. So um, the way that I like to do it is to do two wraps around, around the, uh, the front hitching part of the uh, truck here. So the two, it basically just makes it a little stronger. Um, and then all basically I do is just do a little half hitch, like so. And this is so, when it pulls tight, as you can see here, I'm pulling it as tight as I can and it's getting pretty tight, but it'll still allow for us to undo it uh, once we get it. You know, obviously there's gonna be a fair bit of strain on here because we're gonna be backing the truck up. Um, and you just want to, you also obviously want to be able to get it undone. You don't want it to stay stuck to the truck. For this part, I like to use somebody, have some help doing this. Um, I have done it in the past lots of times by myself, but it is a lot easier if you've got some help, somebody driving the truck and you can tell them how far to go. First thing you want to do is have the person back the truck up till the rope is tight. So you can get them to go back until your rope is actually tight and then you can go ahead and do the next step. A bit more. Okay, the next step is, this is where your uh, two by four comes into play. I like to stick my two by four inside my handle and standing up like this. So basically the longest end, being the four inch part, is gonna be standing up in your handle and it's gonna look exactly like that. This is just to hold the handle out and it also helps stretch the top part of your handle as well as the bottom part of your handle. So once I've done this, um, like I said, you can use a round piece of pipe that lets you get a little bit further, but I'm not too worried about that as long as it gets a good stretch. So I'm going to ask him to go back just a little bit. Whoa. And then I'm going to tell him to hold it for a little while. As you can see, the rope twists up a little bit. Um, again, not too worried about that there, but um, if you do have a longer piece of two by four, that way you can stick it on the ground and it does hold it from twisting, but the twist will come back out of it when the truck comes forward again. So the first thing I'll do basically is to stand on it a little bit, make sure that you're getting a little bit of a stretch in it, help stretch it out a little bit. And as you, and this is where you can judge what's happening, uh, you know, and how tight it's getting. So I will go back to the truck and I'm going to make sure that my knot there is actually holding and it's not going to let go when they go back a little bit. So. Make sure that's nice and tight. Then we're going to ask them to back up just a little bit. A little bit more. A little bit more. Cool. Okay, this is a, you think uh, your rope's going to break. If you do take off really fast going back, yeah, I'm going to say your rope might break because they're only as strong as the rope can be, but um, they definitely are uh, strong because they have a lot of, a lot of, uh, strands of rope in there but this is where and then I'll just go ahead 
and stand on the rope because um, this way I can gauge how far I've gone back. I don't really need to worry about, um, you know, going back too much further to have a risk of breaking. And of course I use a ring in my rope for uh, different reasons so I can change the tail out, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. But of course I don't want to put too much strain on the ring and break it. So um, then you can just go ahead and tell the person to put the handbrake on and just um, leave it in gear and turn it off. Once you've got the truck stretched back, it doesn't matter how long you leave it there for. So I, I like to kind of leave it there for, you know, five minutes is all it usually takes for me. Once the rope's stretched, it's stretched. So I'm, um, I'm just going to go ahead. Um, it helps sometimes if you have somebody to hold you doing this, but if you don't, that's okay. I just kind of go up the rope. Um, of course, the further you go along the rope, the higher it's going to be so you'll get more of a stretch on it. So obviously down here, it's not very high, so you're not going to get much of a stretch. So if you just jump on it, the truck's going to move a little bit, but if you just jump on it and stretch it, you're going to make the stretch a little bit longer. And like I said, I'm not going to leave it here very long. Um, you, some people um, like to do different things like hang them from a roof and put an anvil, say, on it or something really heavy, hang it there for a few days. That works too, but usually when I've got a new rope, I want it to... I want it to be stretched and I want to be able to go use it. I don't want to send it there for about four or five days. Um, so once we've got this done, and it's about five and you feel like it's got a good stretch. As you can see, um, this tail was a lot thicker than what it was when, uh, when I, before I started. Um, you can see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kinda say that when we started stretching this rope, the block was probably here, so it stretched a good, um, two to four inches, uh, that's, that's a lot on a rope. You can imagine if you pull your rope up tight and your rope stretches that much, it usually doesn't in the first ride, but over two or three. Now, a new rope will stretch a little bit when you do get on after it's been stretched like this, but technically it's not gonna stretch very much. So hopefully this helped. It's a very basic thing to do. Um, of course, bull riding's still a dangerous sport, so be careful, but I hope this helped you out.